Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss few examples on time and distance ratios. The formula related to ratios were already discussed in our previous classes. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, these are just practice examples, but these examples will help you a lot in understanding the formula. Always, uh, always the concepts are around those formulas. So practice makes uh, practice is very very important in uh, aptitude. A certain distance is covered by a bike. So it covered a certain distance at a certain speed. So they did not mention the distance, they did not mention the speed, and they did not mention the time. If a cyclist covers half the distance in double the time. So what they have mentioned, a cyclist covered the same half of the distance in double the time. So the ratio of speeds of cyclist to the tough bike. This is what they are trying to ask. The ratio of speeds of cyclist to the tough bike. Whenever you are, uh, you are working on ratios, here the point you have to understand. Cyclist to the tough bike means cyclist is to bike. So, when you are in the exam, you forget this. So, you should be very careful here. Cyclist to the top bike means cyclist is to bike. That is what we have to identify. So, they are trying to ask the ratio of speeds. Means we need to identify speed. Speed of the bike, speed of the cyclist. Now, we are going to assume that from here to here we are assuming that it is d distance they did not mention the distance they did not mention the uh, speed they did not mention the time we are assuming that bike covers d distance using x speed in t time all are assumptions so time is equal to distance by speed speed is equal to distance by time so x is equal to d by t so this is what is assumption of the bike but what they have said cyclist covered to half the distance in two times time is equal to 2t so from that 2t is equal to half the distance and speed is we are assuming that speed is y so y is equal to half d by 2t that is d by 4t so we know the speed of cyclist we know the speed of a bike speed is x is equal to d by t so the ratio of cyclist using is to bike means y is to x that is d by 4t is to d by t if you cancel out d d t t 1 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 that is 1 is to 4 this is how we need to identify the ratios whenever they, are, they have given the ratios keep that in mind they don't give the distance time and all those things ratios means we can cancel out so these points you have to get into your mind when you are doing the when you are solving the bits ratios means no need of distance and time give no need to give the distance and time we can assume because in the ratios we are going to cancel that okay coming to the next example three persons are walking from a place a to another place b their speeds are in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 5 the ratio of their times are in our last class when we discussed about the formula if the ratio of speeds is given as a is to b and the ratio of the times is given as 1 by a is to 1 by b speed is equal to distance by time means inversely proportional and they and we underline that if distance is same then only we can apply this formula if distance is same so from the question is the distance is same yes three persons walking to the same place from a to b so distance is same they have mentioned the speed ratios what's the uh, ratios of time 1 by 4 is to inversely proportional 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 5 so in order to make you understand this we have taken this example whenever you are having this 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 5 so 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 which is 60 multiply by 60 60 by 4 is to 60 by 3 is to 60 by 5 that is uh, if you cancel out 15 is to 20 is to 12 this is how we will convert our ratios in uh, ra uh, rational numbers to we will convert this uh, using this uh, 15 is to 20 is to 12 now coming to the next question this is very very important to understand a dog takes 
four leaps for every five leaps of the rabbit assume that assume that this is the leap of the dog and this is the leap of rabbit a dog takes four leaps for every five leaps of rabbit means what the point you have to understand here assume that time is t in the time in the time t dog is going to take four leaps in the same time t rabbit is going to take five leaps that is the point you have to understand but three leaps of the dog equal to four leaps of a rabbit from this point what we have to understand three leaps of the dog equal to four leaps of the rabbit means the distance of the leaps the size of the leaps are different so the distance is different distance of the leaps is different that is the point you find the ratio of speeds see in the in the formula in the formula so ratio of speeds is given as inversely proportional to ratio of times if distance is same but what happens here distance is different so what how we have to identify the speeds that is the point you have to so leaps are different we are assuming that but three leaps of a dog equal to four leaps of a rabbit we are we are assuming that one leap size is given as x one leap of rabbit is given as y three times x equal to four times y so x is equal to four by three y so we we got the distance ratio of distance uh, distances uh, if it is x four by three y so now dog takes four leaps for every five leaps of rabbit means if it take if it runs 4x distance it is going to run 5y distance time is same time is same in the in the same time it is going to run for 5y 5y leaps 5y distance so whenever time is same speed is equal to distance by time ratio of speeds directly proportional to distance if time is same from the formula from the formula which we discussed in our last class from the same formula we have to analyze that uh, speed is equal to distance by time means speed is directly proportional to distance if time is same so now if you want to identify speeds ratio of speeds you can go with ratio of distances because time is same so 4x is to 5y 4x is to 5y we already know x is equal to 4 by 3y that is 4 by 3 16 by 3y is to 5 5y that is equal to 16 is to 15 so this is what the ratio of speeds so the point from this we have to understand from the concluding point is whenever you are going to work with the ratios speed distance time the important points you have to understand speed is inversely proportional to time speed, if distance is same speed is directly proportional to distance if time is same so around these concepts they will change the questions in different ways if you are good at uh, these concepts you can easily solve the answers solve the bits uh. hope you understand these questions if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you